Hello everyone. In the last video, we talked about how we can parse JSON files using Python. In this video, we will talk about how we can parse XML files using Python. So for that, we need to install external module that is XML to dict. So I'm opening my command prompt and you have to type the command that is pip install and then the module name that is I'm writing XML to Hit enter. And it will install XML to dict fit. How to check if it's installed successfully or not? So either you can check it using pip freeze. So if I say pip freeze, it will show me all the Python libraries which are installed. So it will show the XML to dict. Or I can go to interacting mode, so just write Python and I can try importing it. So if I say import XML to dict, so if I don't get any error message, that means installation is successful. Coming back to Sublime Text, so I have another XML file. So in XML, we will have a user defined tags. So we will have opening tag and we will have a closing tag for a particular tag. So along with the tags, we will have some attributes and it will be completely user defined file. So it is one of the error logs or XML format. So I have an error message, error code and a request code. So now let's see how I can pass this using Python. So first thing I need to import the module. So I'm saying import XML to. I need to open that file. I'm writing open, then file name that is XML underscore input dot XML and open it in a read mode. It will give you a reference and accept it into handle. Just read the content. So I'm writing content is equals to handle dot v. Let's print the content. Okay, so this is the XML content I have in the XML file. Again, I can use this XML to dict library to convert this XML content into Python dictionary and I can easily update the values. So if I want to convert this into Python dictionary, then we have one method called pass. So I'm writing XML to dict dot pass and just specify this content. So it will return me ordered dictionary. So if I say D, now just print this D. So now it will give me a dictionary of type ordered dictionary. So it is one of the class we have in collections. So if I want to see the value, I can say result. Okay. If I want to see this message, again it's a nested dictionary. So just specify something like this. Okay. So now I can easily perform modification into this. So let's try to modify the request code. So I'm copying this. Okay. Let's see if we can modify the value. Copy this. And assign a new one. Let's say I'm changing it to four. Okay. So it has updated the value. So likewise, you will perform the updation after converting using this pass method. So now let's say you are done with the modification and you want to generate a XML for this. So for that, we have a method called unpass. So it will give me an XML file from this dictionary. So I'm writing XML to dict dot unpass. 
of this dictionary. So now if I print this x, it will give me a valid XML file for this. So again I can create a new file, I can open it in write mode and I can write this entire content into new XML. So this is how you can process your XML files, you can create a new XML files using If you have any queries, feel free to write it in the comment section and I will help you to resolve them. Thank you.